Hi there from Bug Eye Guys. This is one wacky and fun vehicle. Saab 95, 1971. Full of strange, ahead of its time, or big design mistake, depending on your perspective. I'm not sure if the washboard was a big popular thing that people were stealing for their designs. They did it on this car. It's perfect for this car, but I don't know if that was aerodynamic or style or what. Then you have wings kind of glued on the back. And these giant, these big blades. It's such a strange vehicle. Very cool bumper design with this big U for a wide plate, you know, a European plate. I really like that. And of course, the rear facing seat is not something you see often on compact little wagons. The fins are just, I mean, look at this trim treatment of the chrome. Definitely bizarre with the spoiler right above it and like an exit vent. So you have air going through. I believe that's connected to the ventilation of the car. You have inward tipping vent windows and you have these curved kind of shapely front glass. And then this deflector here, probably for water and air and wind noise. So a lot of cool aerodynamic um, stuff that they, they were a jet company. They made, it's an aviation company as well. Just a very bizarre vehicle that attracts a ton of attention. People love this car. Of course, everybody is sad that Saab went away, but this thing is strong and very, very easy to maintain. It's a basic V4 Ford engine. Everything's really exposed. It's like a great car to learn on. There's nothing intimidating about working on this car. It just couldn't be more out in the open and easy. Just like Auto Mechanics 101 to live with this car. Everything's right in front of you, the distributor. In that sense, it's a really nice design. All the electrics are right here as well. But then you add more quirky, like look at this hood thing. Of course, for those of you who've had Sobs, you know about this. I had a 900 that had the same hood with these rollers that capture and attract here. So when you release the hood in the, in the interior, you end up with it like this. So it looks somewhat normal. But then you have to, to open it, you trip the safety catch. It rolls forward like this, and then it flips up, which is just spectacular for engine access, but absolutely sob-like and quirky in every other way. Really nice to not have the hood in the way so that if you want to work on the engine, there's nothing to obstruct you. We have also these very, very odd quarter panels. There's just there's nothing conventional about the entire back corner of this car because we have a triangular panel here. Then we have a ridge formed in there, this sort of whole fender treatment with a strong horizontal line seam here, butting a fin with a chrome cap and washboard. I mean, like, <laughs> I can't imagine the design meeting for this. Just a fantastic machine. Inside you have column shifting, four speed, really easy to operate, but it's my first car that, it, the 96 that I got was my first car. This is my second car with the column shifting, first, second, third, and fourth. This is a rebuilt transmission. And then to engage reverse, you pull out and down, and that's to get you reverse. We have the glove box here, which, I've never seen a car that had the glove box with a grab handle fighting against the latch, right? It's not mounted on something rigid. It's mounted on a moving door, but it works. That's just a weird way to do it. And then this is the knockout panel on the glove box door. So the radio had to pivot out of the glove box if you wanted a radio. And that that's the factory doing it that way you did get an, an ashtray and a cigarette lighter so you had the vitals all in one place it's just so funny but anyway a delightful machine quirky unusual be the first at the cars and coffee with something that really attracts a lot of attention even up against much higher value cars this thing gets you noticed and if you like that sort of thing that's what we have here at Bug Eye Guys.